thin enough? You can see your yes, hand? Yes, that looks beautiful. All right, so this is what we want. Like a piece of fabric. Yeah, like a beautiful piece of fabric. And I think we're going to have to cut this in half. Yeah, it's getting big. I'm going to be in the dining room <laughs> soon. Because this is a long sheet of pasta. This is a piece of theater. Now, we could make the corsetti ahead of time, and we need to dry them. Isn't that right? Yes, you can dry them. Exactly. You have to dry them, or sometimes I put them straight in the freezer if I know I'm not going to use them for a while. Okay. There we go. Wow. We have a drape. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I thought we were going to Hoboken for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is move that pasta machine, and why don't we cut that? Yeah. Because we can't work with this no, huge sheet. No. So that's very thin. Very thin, very delicate. So when you make these, you should make them ahead, and you should let them dry some before you cook them, right? Yes, if I'm gonna, make, if I'm gonna eat them that day, I want them to dry for at least a half an hour. Okay. I actually, I put them out on my porch, I, I let them rest maybe 20 minutes even, mm -hmm. and then I go out and I flip them mm -hmm. to let the other side uh, okay. dry up. All right, so. We ready? We're ready. Okay, here we go. So we take these, and we should tell everyone that we need to cut them first. Yes. So this, this is the stamp. Well, okay. actually, this is the cutter. This we is the cutter say. part. So. Okay. So. We're gonna work on. We'll this. do this one. You want to meet in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I cut mine terrible. That well, was a terrible. Yeah. Well, one. it's a it's a bit of a soft dough. There. But there's a little technique where you can see that. Knock Tap it them off. out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you do a little twist. Yeah. The that first one was them. bad, but that's a good one. Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay, so you do six and I'll do six. Okay, I'm getting I got it. it. Yep. And you may have to put this in a little bit of flour too, right? If it's sticky. Yeah, definitely. But those tap right I'm out. Doing so okay. And then we can re-roll these scraps. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, you beat me to six. All right. All right. So I'm gonna take those there scraps we aside. Now we have these. Now the fun part starts. This is the fun part. Now the fun part is. Do you want to dunk your? All right. You dunk your stamp, tapping it, right? Yeah. Do you have to dunk both pieces? Yes, I think okay. so. Okay. I mean, this is time consuming, but this is tradition. This is not an everyday pasta right. either. Come on, this is not going to be a peasant dish. So it goes There's on the top of the stamp. an elaborate thing here. Yes. So you lay it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and press. you put this here, and you give it a little push, maybe even a yeah, slight twist, and wow, you have this beautifully imprinted pasta. Isn't yes. that gorgeous? Let's do that again. So, okay. In the flour. Yep. Now what made you be so passionate of wanting to go to discover these particular types of pasta? Right. Well it all began because I wrote this uh, first book that was called A Thousand Years Over a Hot Stove and it was a history of American women told through food, recipes, and remembrances. Mm -hmm. And it was a big social history. And when it was done I started to wonder, well, what's my culinary heritage and I decided I'm a very mixed American with a lot of different roots. But your family comes from Liguria. One, one piece yeah. of them. I wanted to find an authentic family recipe mm -hmm. and I almost didn't care which side if it came from the Croatian side or the Italian mm -hmm. but I did know that my uh, great-grandmother made ravioli. There was a ravioli tool hanging on the wall of our kitchen mm -hmm. and then I just completely fell in love mm -hmm. with Liguria mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. pasta. Mm -hmm. That is a beautiful story, and it's why I enjoyed reading your book. Yeah, thank you. Because I could really identify with what you were trying to do. This is a very simple sauce. Uh, I already have my minced garlic and Ligurian olive oil in there. And what I'm going to do, it's extremely simple and quick, is I just get a, a moderate heat going. And I'm going to add some pine nuts. Now, some people might like to pulverize these, uh -huh. as you just did, or have them whole. I think they're really pretty whole. So this is about a third of a cup and maybe a half a cup of oil in there. That looks good. Do you yes. want me to? I know this I'm is going a fast just, sauce. Should I put the pasta in? It takes two minutes. So okay, yeah, let you me can get started on that. And here we have some minced marjoram. And the, you know, again, the marjoram. The perfume yeah. is there. OK. OK. And of course, many of these sauces don't cook, but this does because we're going to take some of the edge off of that marjoram. I like the fact that this is not a long cooking sauce. Well, here are the the corzetti. Don't they look beautiful? They came out beautiful. And they're our nice coins. and dry now. Our they're like potato coins. chips. So now we're just okay. going to put them in. I salted the water. Right. And this is going to take maybe two minutes. That's it. Two minutes to cook. So I'm going to give maybe them a even less. stir. I'll give them it's a quite little thin. stir. Yeah, because these are very, very, very thin. Very thin. Might even be a minute and a half. Now, how 
often do you serve these at home? This is a special dish. If you're, yeah. This is not noodles. I think that whenever you're using a, a woodcut and stamping out one thing at a time, this is not an everyday thing. Right. It's a special occasion. Oh. And you can see the, the image is still. How pretty that there. is. All right, so now, while that water's still going, I'm going to put mine in. Some the Parmigiano. Cheese. Now, you could use Parmigiano or Reggiano, but what other cheese could you use? Grana Padano. Grana Padano. You're using a lot of I cheese. I know. I like it. That's a lot know, of cheese. I know, but it's good. Again, I think of this as a, as a relative of pesto, so if you think mm -hmm. of it that way. I have to get a spoon because you want I must. Taste. You must. I must. Get I, some with cheese oh, and well, pinoli. Oh, well, look good. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you mm. think? You taste that marjoram? Mm-hmm.